errors that we find in the construction are related to the ventilation and ducts and services. The main area that uh, defects are found is on the shafts, the vertical shafts that are provided for distributing services in multi-story buildings. These shafts, when they are built of lightweight construction, they are usually uh, not that built exactly to the specification of the manufacturer. Sometimes the penetrations into those shafts is an area where we find problems very often. For example, if there is a duct penetrating, entering into a shaft, a fire damper has to be provided. If there is a plastic pipe penetrating into the shaft, a fire collar has to be provided. We also have post-construction problems that once the shaft has been properly built, some services that are installed later, not, not much care is being exercised in making good the penetrations that are being done. Active fire protection is something that changes its mode when there is a fire, whereas a passive fire protection is always there. There are requirements for active fire protection and there are requirements for passive fire protection. As the, um, in the last 20 years, there has been a lot of development, technological development, that has allowed more reliance on active, active fire protection than, fire, than passive fire protection. Traditionally, when fires used to be very large, the passive fire protection is really the, the ultimate defense. Now, we try to keep the fires smaller in size. We still got problems, we still got hazard, we still got smoke hazard, but um, we, um, we try as much as possible to manage the situation and fulfill the objectives of safety by not having to assume a very large fire. It has been the case that uh, when large fires occur in buildings under construction, it is usually the accumulation of uh, combustible materials far beyond the ultimate design of the building or the, the final design of the building. Also, uh, the construction activities have many sources of uh, ignition, such as welding and uh, cutting and uh, and there is sometimes materials such as paints that contribute to very large fires or to the uh, propagation of fire.